Hello guys, HackerCop here and today I'm going to show you how to run Mario Kart Wii mods on your Wii. So to start with, I'm assuming you have absolutely no software on your Wii. You will need to install the Homebrew channel, put a video on how to do that. And if you've got that, then you need to have two pieces of software on your Homebrew channel. CCGP Revolution and Revolution for more advanced mods. Put a video in on how to install CTGP for Revolution you will just download it extract it I recommend you use software like 7-zip for zip files it's a lot faster than file explorer don't waste your time on file explorer you will want to open your SD card and if you haven't already ignore these two folders these are what we're going to do later We've installed the Homebrew channel on your Wii, which I've put a video on how to do that. You need to make a folder called Apps. And then you will copy and paste this Revolution folder inside your Apps folder. So it should look like this. Revolution folder. You see I've got a lot of other software here, but... And you should have the file inside the Revolution folder. Here. In the SD card for my Wii. You will need an SD card for this to run the mods on your Wii. It can't be bigger than 32 gigabytes because your Wii uses the SDHC protocol. So once you've got both Revolution and Revolution and CTGP set up on your card, I can begin showing you how to run mods. So CTGP has a folder called My Stuff. Go to CTGP. From the root and my stuff and this folder allows you to run any Mario Kart Wii custom tracks and texture hacks from it it allows you to run all SLS files and music files so you can see I've got a lot of stuff in here I've got SLS files which are custom tracks and I've got music files so I've got custom music so let's say I want to run a custom track in Mario for Mario Kart Wii I can uh, new custom tracks for instance and this will show me all the custom tracks on this wiki. I'm going to do one of my own ones. So track here, most tracks when we have a video, you want to ideally be downloading the latest version. You're clicking the download here. You don't want to use the WZBZ files. That's a uh, that's another type of download, but you'll need some software to convert from WBZ2 in SDA. So we're just going to use download here. Going to be showing how to run cheat codes on your Wii as well with this, hopefully. Show in folder. And then you want to copy and paste that into your My Stuff folder. If you play the track that is over the slots Old Donkey 64 which is N64 DK Jungle Parkway you will be able to play this custom track instead of the Nintendo one you need to know which tracks your mods will go over so I'm going to put this in the description this is all the file names of tracks so here you can see beginner course SDS is Luigi Circuit if you have a custom track with the name beginner course SDS you will need to Play, it, play Luigi Circuits to activate that. So now we're on the Wii to run our custom track. We're going to launch CTGP from the Homebrew channel. It's quite important before you press launch game, go to settings. Make sure that my stuff folder is set to on, otherwise your mods will not be launched in gameplay. If you go here, for you it will say add TCG Plus channel, that will add the channel to your Wii menu, so that you can access it instead of booting into the Homebrew channel. Now I'm just going to press launch game.
to run cheat codes, you need a homebrew application called Gecko OS, which you can download. Put this link in the description. Once you've downloaded Gecko OS, cheat codes. Let's open it. Homebrew channel folder. And put it inside your apps folder. So you can see I have mine in here. Because I have Gecko OS installed on my Wii. Once you've installed Gecko, you'll need to find some cheat codes for uh, the game. One of the best ways to get cheat codes is there's a software application called Mario Kart Wii Code Generator. Which has codes for three regions, PAL, NSCJ and European. I'm using PAL. Can use some uh, types of item hacks such as growing shells. I can copy this code here. I can use another piece of software called. This is a uh, software that compiles cheat codes. My game ID, because I'm in PAL, is RMCP01. Uh, for European, it's CE. And the code. Copy and paste the code contents in. I'm going to store it to my SD card in D, the codes folder, which if you don't have, you'll just create, and then the code name. And there we go. And I can now boot into Gecko OS and run that cheat code. And we're going to launch Gecko OS. We can just click launch game. And that will now launch the cheat codes we have applied. So you see it said SE cards found, codes found applying. So that tells us normally when it sees that, that it's going to work. If you get crashes from because your code is either invalid or because you're using an incorrect region. When you have a PAL, American and Japanese or Korean code, you've got to use the one for your region, otherwise you will almost certainly get crashes. There you can see the green shell there with the code we used, here it's growing. So now I'm going to cover installing revolution mods. So I'm going to be installing the platinum hack pack. Some of you guys wanted to see that. I'm going to download that. This gives you um, max stats I've seen on the platinum runner in Troy's videos. Let's go to here and open it. And I recommend you do read these readme files so they can give you installation information and installing. So I'm now going to copy these two files into my SD card. Drag and drop them. Show you how revolution patches work. You ha always have a folder called revolution. If there's a folder called revolution, then it is a revolution patch. You have a XML template. And how these tend to work is you have you have a slider here, which will be called extras, and patch ID is Plasma Pack 001. Send to the revolution to patch from here and to patch in these two folders. If you download a mod that has downloads for different regions or in the download has four different regions it's very important to choose the correct region PAL is European NTSCU is Americas I believe this is Korean and Japan if you don't do the correct download it will crash your Wii because there are some features in these that are region specific 